Welcome back to TV3 New Day. We're live, of course, on TV3. And now we're taking a look at assignments. So in actual fact, um, the bridge on the river Diswe in Dahara in the um, west north um, region of Ghana has made it almost impossible for residents to access their farmlands and also to access the markets in the neighboring communities as well. A report indicates that as of this year, 23 people have lost their lives already just trying to cross that river. And our reporter, Joseph Armstrong, was in there uh, to find out what the situation is like and to also um, understand how it's affected economic activities in there. So Joseph Armstrong is here with us. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, yeah. All right. Good to have you here. And we'll take a look at that shortly. But also we have the MP for our wind constituency, Honorable Mathias Kwame Into. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And I'm sure that you probably have heard the story or seen yeah. um, our report already. But for those of you who have not seen it yet, let's take a look at it and we'll come back and discuss. Dahara is a cocoa growing community in the Awin Enchi municipality of the Western North region. Unfortunately, there is a challenge. There is no road connections to the community. This is the only access road for residents here at Dara in the Awonghui Municipal Assembly. We are told that more than 23 people or residents have died by way of trying to apply this road. This is a single tree that they've managed to put on this river. We are told that when it rains, the impact of the water is such that not even a single soul can pass here. Pregnant women in labor and the sick are carried on a stretcher to cross the river before accessing a health facility. <laughs> Residents say since 2007, this has been their predicament. We are cocoa farmers. Unfortunately, we cannot assess the marketplace any time this river overflows. In 2017, government made all attempts to construct a bridge, but till today, they are yet to bring metals to complete the bridge. They complained for a community which is a hub of cocoa and plantain production in the region. It should not take a long time for such a bridge to be faced. A cocoa farmer, Kofi Into, said his farm produce have been locked up on his farm because he is unable to move them to the community. The municipal chief executive of Awain, Samuel Edu Jemfi, says the collapsed bridge was awarded on contract in 2007 and was fully paid for by the contractor is yet to complete his part of the contract. The Dahara Bridge uh, was awarded to one quota, a contractor, to do concrete uh, bridge with uh, metal slabs. Yes, the banks, pillars were raised. The slabs that were brought were short. So you couldn't work. And since then, it wasn't replaced. Remember. All right, so that is the situation at Dahara um, in the Awin Enchi constituency. And like I said, I do have the MP for Awin here, Honorable Mathias Kwame. Um, again, thank you so much for joining us. And I believe you are aware of this problem. Yeah, I'm very much aware. How long have you been aware of this? Has this always been the situation? Oh, it was the, the problem had been there ever since I became the member of parliament for that particular constituency. Okay. Yeah. And, and what were you able to do about it in the beginning? Have you ever tried? Before it got to this stage, that was the time President Mahama, at Ahmed Mahama, government was in, or, or was was in power. power. Mm. So in collaboration with this assembly, we tried to get some planks across it, I mean some wood across it. Mm. Then we put some planks, nail them, so that even vehicles were using it. Was that a temporary solution? It was a temporary solution okay. because as the MC rightly said, the banks had been concreted. Mm. So what is left now is to get the metals and then push it across. Mm -hmm. That becomes a metal bridge which can be used by every vehicle, any vehicle at all. Mm -hmm. Then, unfortunately, a truck 
used some fertilizer to cross it, and it fell to the river. The, the, the whole thing collapsed. Collapsed. Okay. And it fell to the river. So it was due to the efforts of the people living around that area that were able to put the tree across. Mm. And since then, um, I remember recently, members of the community came to me mm -hmm. as a member of parliament. So I gave them money to buy fuel, to use a chainsaw, to mm -hmm. get some of this type of wood. Okay, so can, which is what we saw in the video. Yes. Okay. So that we can, we can do it as we did before. Mm. They put some pranks on it so that anybody at all can use it. You were asking for them to redo the same thing that collapsed when a truck exactly went so. over it. Because we are waiting. I've been to several times to feed our roads. Uh -huh. And they gave me the assurance that this year, they're going to fix it. But since that has not been done, the people should at least have access to cross the river to their farms and then to the, 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 the market centers. I, I believe this is your third term yes. um, as MP for that area. Why has it taken so long to actually get? I mean, if, I, if you've been able to do something temporary and it collapsed, I don't think that should be too difficult for you to now go to them and tell them that, okay, this is the problem and we need to do it, especially because it's a cocoa um, area and we know how much cocoa brings to the country. Now, since I came 2009, uh -huh. this had been one of the areas that I spent a lot of my time. Mm. Almost every day, when I first came in 2009, 2010, I would go to a feeder roads. Okay. They will give me the assurance, they show me pictures, what they are programmed with their computer, they will show these pictures to me that they are going to fix it. The year will go by. Nothing. Nothing is done. All this time. So, we decided, anyway, there are alternative routes, but that is very far. You've been winding before you come to get to Dara itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what people have been using. But this short route is the one that people are urging to, to get so that it will give them free movement. Mm -hmm. So my, there's nothing within my capacity that I've not done as a member of parliament. I've been to, I, I had discussion that, that time, uh, Joe Gidisu was the minister for roads and highways, mm -hmm. Honorable Joe Gidisu, the minister for highways. I had discussions with him, the assurances were given, but still. Now, lastly, before NGC Lepa, we were told there's a particular company from Italy. They bring the 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 the, mm. the, the steel. Okay. Yeah, at the current measurement, you know, they bring it in stage according to the the, the width of the river. Mm. So that as soon as they bring this thing from Italy, then the contractor that is doing that is supposed to go there and they make the selection, taking into consideration the width of the river. Okay. So this is what has delayed her for this long time. Mm. Yeah. So the last time that company brought some of these uh, structures, you couldn't get the one that could cross yeah. uh, the river. You know, it is white. The, the, I don't know whether you took the time to measure it. I, I, it, it is white. Did you? When, when I'm strong, when the... But I'm sure that's, of course, it is at least being in that more than It's more than 28 meters. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It should be in the neighborhood of about 28 meters. Okay. So it is quite white. I'm sure. Tell us what the situation really is on the ground. I mean, aside from what we've seen, are these people aware of some of the efforts that our MP here is saying he's made in order to fix the situation? And are they even satisfied? Because clearly they're complaining that since 2007, um, you know, when the, some solution was brought, they haven't seen any progress anymore. Definitely they will not be satisfied because if even the MP and the DC and the entire uh, authorities there are doing something, they've still not gotten to the final solution. Mm. Why should they be satisfied, you know? I went in there and then I realized that the problem will be in the near future will be more catastrophic if indeed the uh, solutions they are trying to uh, sort to provide for the people, they don't get to the final bottom of it because, you know, when I go to their schools on vacation mm. and I'm told that if I came here doing the school, Hours. Okay, I would yeah. have seen some terrible things, wow. and I'm planning to go back there. Mm. So I want to see how these uh, people uh, cross over to their schools. And apart from the river we saw, mm -hmm. there are more challenges there. And I think it's because of the uh, inability of them trying to move things from the main community to uh, their, 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 their village and their school in mm. this service in a deplorable state. Wow. And you see, I went to their farms, and most of them have their cocos. Uh, Abandoned there. Why? Because they cannot cross the river. 
Mm. Those who can, those who have that strength to carry one or two sacks on their head, mm -hmm. are, of course, are able to carry it on their head and then they cross over that river. And I try uh, applying that, uh, that, that, that wood, yeah. they, they, they place there. And that wood itself is a de death trap on its you own. You can easily fall off. It's shaky. And they have this rope, you have to hold on to the rope. Just like, I don't know what I've been to. Is that one? The uh, Kakum. Yeah, the Kakum okay, National so Park. And then support. you have to hold it. But you know, this is more dangerous because you are putting your faith in that rope that they've tied from one end to the other end. And that one alone, I, I try to, and i like, no, let me go back. So mm. it took me almost an hour before I was clear in my mind that, look, I can do this. Because if children are doing this, well, of course, they shouldn't do this. And more than 23 people I'm told mm. so far have lost their lives. So I was scared too. I don't want to die anytime soon, you know. I can and, imagine. Yeah. And the problem there is bigger than uh, we are looking at it. And the MP, uh, I'm not too happy he's saying that he has been trying. I mm -hmm. mean, your effort is mm -hmm. not good enough. If you tell me you are trying, and then since 2007, you have been poor since, uh, since 2009. Since yeah. 2009 until now. And then your effort, your effort, your effort. And this is just one single road, a river. Yeah. Okay, whether it is 100 uh, meters, whatever they. The problem needs to be solved. And the, the DC, the, the, they are all lamenting. Yeah. The, the problem I have is that they are all lamenting. But you see, you're not putting there to be lamenting. You are putting yeah, there to solve, to solve problems. To solve problems. You, you should stop lamenting. Have, and you, have you been able to put this across parliament? Because I know that you are also the representation for that constituency as well. I have an well. question on that. And what was the response? Well, Were you, see, you not able to pro, you know, push you further? See, you see, you see if, if you ask a question in parliament on mm. the front of the house, and that the minister comes to give you the answer, mm. The next thing is to make a follow-up. Now, they will tell you this, this work could be done on uh, the availability of funds. So the funds are not available. That's but, but there's but also see, the, the common the, the, fund the, that was provided. Very well. Was no, there the not? No, the common fund indeed cannot do that work. It can't? It can't. I, How much I, are we giving? As a member of parliament, at only 5%. Uh -huh. The assembly take, takes 95%. And my 5%, if I get 100, if uh, we get uh, maybe 10,000, mm. I get 5% of that. Mm. So the only thing I could do is do some leverage job. The school that you went to, yeah. I, I gave them cement, I gave them roofing sheets, to put into oh, a proper perspective. Is this all from the common fund? From the common fund. Okay. The so-called common fund. I have to pay school fees from it. People are sick, they cannot pay their bills. I have to settle a whole lot of things. But honorable, have you so, tried appealing to private corporations, institutions to you know come what? in and help? Because, I, I mean, we can't sit and wait yeah. for government um, you know, or for Parliament to be able to give the go-ahead before we see change. I, I wrote a letter to PBC mm. because they buy that is the, the purchasing mm. uh, cocoa purchasing company. Mm. They buy the cocoa beans. I wrote to them, and you know, I was giving two drums of diesel. Okay. To put the road into proper shape, but that two it can drums. because if, if yeah, just two drums of diesel. You know, the two drums, the, the, the machine itself, when we are failing, it will take a whole drum. And that drum will take just a day. The next day, you have to refill. So, you see, the problem lies on the, 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 the work of the government. Because but the you central are government, also government. That is it. That's why I told you that from that time, Persistently, I've been going to. Uh, the, the, your, your government was in power in 2009 when you became an MP. But so, you know, I mean, shouldn't that have been <laughs> much easier for you? It, it will be much easier, mm. as you say, mm. because now they have to wait for a company to bring the scraps. I mean, uh, the, the slabs. The, the slabs the from slabs. abroad because it's not manufactured in Ghana yet. We can't. Before. We can't make our own slabs here. No, as far as I know, I'm not a technical mm. person anyway. But I know it is companies bring from outside. But then, my sister. Where you have an area mm. that get your revenue, we always claim that Ghana is an agriculture and agriculture is the backbone of the economy. It is, indeed. Now, it is, if indeed it is a backbone, then why should somebody struggle before a particular issue like this is resolved? Your when people, government knows. Would you agree? Um, and how do you feel if your people are saying I you feel very fail, bad. You fail them as an MP. Well, they cannot say I fail them because they know it is not in my power. Mine is to lobby and I've done whatever I have in my capacity as a member of parliament to do that. But I, I'm but then, not sure when you were campaigning, you made them aware that your job only entered lobbying. I believe that, you know, you probably did make some promises to them. Reason they might have voted you back into power. As I sit here, I don't make empty promises. What I cannot do, I know it is in my power to do. I don't. Did you ever address that issue during 
your campaign? No. You never did? No. Because I'm very much aware that I do have but the capacity. But that's but a then, problem then. That's no, a problem. No, but why should, why should you give promises? You know, Something that you know, you no, don't have but the capacity you, to do. Okay. Well, well, you know, I, interestingly enough, I was there, when I was there, when the, some of the politicians heard that uh, TV3 was in the community, mm. I wonder how they got to know the distance from, uh, is it Enchi, mm -hmm. okay. to that place is quite yeah. far, okay? But I don't know how they managed to get to know that TV3 was, was in the community. Mm. And I, I saw people from the MPP side, I saw that uh, people from the NDC side, these are aspirants who are mm. contesting to run on mm. the ticket of uh, uh, either the NDC or the MPP. And mm. they were all there, they all stood there and they were talking to the people that, okay, so we are going to make sure that you fix this bridge for you, just have to vote for us. You see the MP is mm -hmm. not doing this. Mm -hmm. And the MP here has lost. Yeah. He, he lost during mm. the last uh, mm. primaries. And, primary and I'm here. sure it has something to do with this uh, bridge and then also the main road from uh, Enchi to Elugu. He lost. Yeah. And then these other aspirants ha have come on board and they are using the same problem that has existed mm -hmm. since 2007 mm -hmm. to campaign. I'm going to face this for you. I'm going to do that for you. And it's okay, fine. You know what? I want to put you on record. You need to talk to the whole world to know that this, this is the promise you are making. Promise and they say, no, made. for now, I, I, I don't want uh, my, my party exactly. to Exactly. So, so then I they, they refuse that, to speak yeah. on camera. So then maybe they've noticed that it's easier for you to say, I'm going to fix this problem because that's what's going because to they know, um, uh, people, encourage people to Because no people are not uh, from outside the community are not going to vote for them. They know mm. the election is going to be done based on party level and delegates are going to vote. So they saw some of the potential voters there and they took advantage of our presidency. We are going to, but I me, mean, I'm not going to end here. I'll make sure of these people and I'm told the man who won mm -hmm. the NDC primaries. I'm going to be monitoring the situation. I'll make sure you that should. I recorded him and I'll make mm. sure when the time comes and he doesn't face this problem, we'll take him on. And one issue is that the whole municipal assembly over there is suffering because of this single river that has not been able to be completed. I'm told the revenue de uh, they generated through cocoa has dropped yeah, massively. It, it has. has dropped. And MC confirmed that to me. So if you're, we need to have value for money. We and do. If, if you, you've left this small river, okay, in this state, and you keep dropping in the revenue mm. that you have to get every year, and you sit in the office and you lament to me, and you're like, my brother, you know what, if I do, th then I, I, I have a problem. A problem. And you should be worried, because I know there was a Cocoa Stakeholders meeting quite recently where Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire said they were withdrawing yeah. from the trade yeah. because they wanted to be part of the decision-making process. And probably this, these are some of the reasons why, because if we're producing the cocoa, but we're not able to process them in such a way that we have power on the international market, then it makes it difficult. And if you are the person in charge of some of these communities that should be able to have access to not only producing the cocoa but making sure that it gets to the right places at the right yeah. time and you know they've been complaining and nothing is being done about it then it's a big problem are you able to sleep knowing that 23 people in a year how, how can i sleep passed? look i go to bed around nine o'clock if i'm not fortunate i wake up around 2 a.m or 1 a.m that is the end I can't see back until the next morning. And that's because you're thinking of the thinking problems how do I solve people? this problem? It is not only that. You saw the Elubu Road. Mm. Look at the state of that road. But fortunately for me, when NDC came to power uh, from 2009, Professor Meros gave the contract to a, a, a Chinese company. They considered their sacred ground. It could have been terrible, mm. especially during the rain. And you know, because of the forest, it rains a lot in that particular area. So that was as in Kregua, and it has been fixed. And that one is okay. Now, the problem now is with from Enchi to Elubo. Uh -huh. And you know, many of the communities are on that stretch of road. You saw it when you, you, yeah. you went there. And therefore, even today, as I sit here, what is going on is that they de demonstrated last year, and this year they're saying that if that road is not fixed, uh -huh. then no political party should come there to campaign. to campaign. And I agree with them. Okay. I agree with them. Mm. Because sometimes they put me in a mess, in a very bad situation. This is something that I have to lobby. And all these years I've been going up and down, talking to people, asking questions in parliament. The last time I asked a question on, on that particular rule, I had very, you know, tough with the Minister for Race and Transport because he was describing the, 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 the route as in the very uh, uh, first stage. Mm. I said, no, how can we describe it this way? But it's maybe that's the attacking hard term. It is bad. It is bad. It's a farming community, I do understand. I mean, this temporary solution that you came up with, are you still going to go ahead and at least reconstruct reconstruct that bridge? If I don't do that, or people continue to... Because in you know, our attempt to cross the river, that place about the, the, the drowning of the people, the attempt to cross. At last year, one guy was trying to cross, 
he fell to the river. Mm. Then somebody has trying to rescue the person also died as a result. Mm. So we had two at, at a go. So which, which is very, very bad. Are you uh, giving up on that constituency now that you've lost the primaries and will not be represented? I will not. I will so not. are you promising us that you're going to find a continue. solution before I'll your term continue. ends? Yeah, I'll continue. Until this very bridge is fixed, the road is also fixed mm. for my people to have some. After all, if I don't win, or if I'm not a member of parliament, does it mean that I've isolated myself from the community? No. That was where I was born and bred. But it's Therefore, too long, it is Therefore, it is my go. social responsibility to ensure but sister, uh, so my you're, dear, you're in your third term. The Bible says, "If the foundation is broken, what can the righteous do?" So you're blaming the foundation of the know, foundation from the central, central government. Central. It is. This is something so I believe that you're blaming not, other parties in power know, in the past as well, because over not, the not, last yes, okay. not only this, not only okay. this government, past government. You know, um, before 2000, I mean, before we started this uh, democratic dispensation, mm -hmm. we had. Reba Tunnel, when we were going to Enchi, there was a, a, a last two boot, mm. if you remember. Mm. That river we were using Pantoon. Mm. Then during the time of President, uh, former President Rawlings, he constructed a bridge along that road. Then downstream on the Enchi and Ubu, you saw another one. Mm. The, the, the metal bridge. Yeah, that, that Galamsi area that has that, been, that, 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 river, that river, river has been no, turned into right. yeah. something else. Mm. Is there, is so that's with some Galamsi operators. And that place to present uh, Rawlings did well and make sure it was constant. And that was the time we had access from Enchi to Libo. There was no access road. Mm. It was through the forest. So this man, Jasper Horton, said, no, they should clear the forest and make sure that the road is mm. put in proper perspective. And that was done. Okay. And then you go to Swaman. That it was a woman Swaman. There's a river called Bia. It is also as wide as River Tano. Mm. And that well too, it was faced. So you see, our people vote for MDC based on some of these things until 2000. Based on past glories. Based on what the president done for us, what the, what the party did for us. Okay. For example, MDC fixing these bridges for us. Okay. No more pantoum. Mm. People are free to. Mm. Because when you get there at 6 o'clock in the evening, you have you to cannot, sleep until yeah. the next morning. Then the, the, the road through the forest reserve to Elubo was also done. Mm. So the people are happy. But what we need is, even if there's not going to be bitumen surface, mm. then they should put it in the proper perspective for us. Okay. At least graveling it. Graveling it. When you say they, you, you, you are also part of they. Uh, I'm because, part. Yeah, so I'm I, part. I, I, I hope but that if the, you are blaming... The, the, the financial part is not, is not in my capacity. Yeah. That's what I see. Mm. So I'm talking about the ministry, mm. and therefore the central therefore, government okay. has to do that. But okay. we can, because one of my duties is to monitor all work that is being done in the constituency mm. and also bring report to, 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 to parliament. So I cannot assure myself. I'm also involved exactly. in included, yeah, yes. as you are rightly say. So we need to fix it. Now the lamentation will not solve the problem. Am I mm. right? Yes. What we need to do is mm -hmm. everybody on board, the paramount chief, the sub chiefs, the member of parliament, the municipal assembly, mm. led by the MC, all of us should come together. Mm. Come to the Flasta Hub and to present a very strong petition to the If to everybody the is doing that for their constituents, you can imagine the chaos in Parliament if everybody has to come and present. Oh, because they voted you in power. We don't, we, we don't have time. We don't have enough time for that. I really do hope that, um, you know, you can bring that solution, um, you know, to the people of okay. the Hara. But the, so, so, yeah. so, so, what I want to say is that okay. I'm appealing to government, mm. the central government, to come to our aid. They should come over to Macedonia and help us because... This is a situation that the member of parliament cannot do it single handedly. Okay. It should be a, collaborat a, a, a collaborative effort Definitely. for us to ensure that. And I'm happy you went there mm. to bring this report. It could have been in the, in the dark, but now it's in the limelight. It is in the People limelight. watch all over the world are seeing it. And this, this is just the situation probably 0.1% of all the problems that we are facing. Armstrong, yeah. where are you headed to next for assignments? Do you have an idea yet? Or still working on it? I'm um, still working on it. But okay. then, um, in that community, just to let you know that that river is causing a lot of harm there. Mm. You don't have access to uh, uh, telecommunication. Electri electricity? No electricity. No electricity. No. Galamsea activity is rampant in that part of the distance because I'm wow. sure the tax force do not even know that they can cross this river to go to that part of the uh, community. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Galamsea activities. I could happening. tell by the color of the river as well. I but, tell you, yeah. no, that, 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 that's that's side, not. That's okay. not. That's not. Okay. Not, okay. That, that place is not. Not, not that part in particular. But what I mean is, 
That's because there is no road access to some of the communities, that is where the Galamse activities take place. Mm. So if you have this tax force, they just drive at the roadside, when they are going to bog also, and they just run into this Galamse guy, they are uh, chasing or trying to fight Galamse. I mean, it's laughable. It's a little bit laughable because, yeah. I mean, the real Galamse activity is happening deep inside some of these bushes. Hmm. And I don't know what we are doing as a country. We just sit here and we talk. We keep talking and we keep talking. We are solving no problem. Anyway, I hope we stop talking and start acting. It's important. We are all part of Ghana. And if, uh, like you said, the center is weak, then maybe there's something that we have to do in order to firm up, um, you know, the center so everybody else can benefit from it. MP for our win, uh, constituency, Matthias, Honorable Matthias Kwame Into, thank you so much for joining me. And also Joseph Armstrong, uh, he brought us our assignments for today. I'm sure the video is online in case you want to check and, you know, uh, let us know what you think of the situation as well. It's still a new day.